Hey, welcome to TYT Sports Rotowire. I'm Heather Ankeny with Chris Liss, Ben Minkwitz. Real rainy day today. I love it. I love <laughs> it. I do. I hate the sameness of the weather. I mean, I love it out here, but like when you get rain, it's exciting. And it's exciting. I stood with my daughter and we just, I was like, rain, rain. She was like, yeah, whatever. But I was like, rain, rain. Yeah. How old is she now? I don't know. Okay. Yeah, she's never been in rain. Right, right, she's never this really the first been time. Right, this is, uh, she's 20 months old. Yeah. Oh, okay. Uh, oh, cute. I, I don't have to water my plants. I don't have to wash my car. You know, it's great. So Great, fantastic. I don't have to shower. It yeah. took me forever to get here today. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, beating the book. How did you guys do last week? Poorly. Although really? I did well in life. Yeah. I don't know how I did went two and three here. Yeah. I, I had a great Thanksgiving day. Oh. Yeah. I was 3-0 and oh on Thanksgiving. And I had a little fun with uh, Mark Sanchez scoring the first touchdown. That, oh, was you a, that, was a, that was a payday. Oh, that was a payday. Did you have him in your fantasy lineup? Oh, wait, it doesn't really matter. You're out, right? I'm out, but I was one in two. I'm in, my, I'm in a bunch of leagues. I'm not doing really well in any of them, but I was in my main league. I was 0 and 12, but I, uh, I tragically emerged victorious. <laughs> oh, hung on. I won, oh, by, no. I won like 111 to 109 and a half. And, uh, Who did you beat? Best team in the league. And uh, if uh, okay. I, you know, Keenan Allen, uh, Rashad Jennings, Joyke Bell, all of a sudden I, right. I, had a nice, I had a nice grouping. And But what did it, I, oddly enough, was the... Ten minutes prior to kickoff, I cut Brian Hoyer, who I'd cut the sign the week before for Kyle Orton, who I'd cut after Nick Foley. You know, I'm just doing the nonsense thing. But I signed Alex Smith, who did not have much of a day, but he had a better day than Brian Hoyer, right. and I won by a point and a half. Oh, great. And he had a better day than you. I would rather have gone 0 and 13, but I, I'm, I'd rather be 0 and 14. But I like the idea of, uh, uh, but I can't not try. Right. So you have to you have to finish. Well, obviously, it's easy 14. to go 0 and 14 if you right. try to go 0 right. 14. It's not like I don't being, know. It's not like going 0 and 14 against the spread, which is really hard to do. Uh, but right. I thought I'd had a good uh, gambling week uh, with this, but I I I, I went two and three. Yeah. yeah. What did you do, Chris? I think also I was two, two and, and three, three also, and it was great. I was five and on the week before, and then I won my only game I picked on Thanksgiving, Detroit, and I thought I can't lose. I'm on a run. I'm going to win ten in a row, and then I went one and three on the rest <laughs> of them. Um, you know, they were mostly bad. If you look at them, they're bad. I mean, the Panthers, I'm a little annoyed because there were two block punch, four touchdowns against them. I mean, just block a punt, maybe one. <laughs> but both of them were blocked and for touchdowns. I kind of throw that out. Whatever. Two and three. It was, it was a very mediocre set of picks. Uh, I had a similar week, although I, and I can complain about a, a similar game. I also went to two and three. Uh, 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 we both won the Buccaneers. The Seahawks were a great, easy pick. I actually, the reason I went 3-0 and on Thanksgiving, the, I, I didn't, the, the bets I made on the Bears-Lions, I didn't bet the Bears. Okay. I bet the under in the second half. I bet some unders on players. And, right. and then, but the Seahawks seemed like an easy pick. But the Giants, like that was as crazy as the... As the I mean, that was the, worse. That was, was worse. And it was yeah. worse because although it was great, I have the, I have the Giants under in a season-long bet, so I, I loved it. Um, uh, at each time, and it's not just that they're not going to. The Giants under is in. You don't yeah, have to worry about that. Yeah, but each time they don't win, it's better. It's more. Like oh, the it's more. Further oh, it's under they are, the oh, better. Okay, yeah, the okay. further under they are, the better. I felt really bad for you in that game. But that you was, know, it was, you know, what was interesting about that game, you mentioned the two block punts in the Carolina game. In the Giants game, it wasn't just the two fumble recoveries for touchdowns. They seemed like practice plays. Like the ball's on the ground for a very long right. time. The Giants are like, <laughs> right. Let's it over there. Right. You know, and then somebody, like, both times I saw it, I'm watching the Red Zone channel, so I'm, I'm not, like, you don't know that you're seeing it live. I think both of them, oh, they're both, get, that's getting called back. Right. Right, that's getting right. called. He's down by contact, right. or they blew the whistle. Yeah. No, so it was yeah. a, uh, those were puzzling plays. Right, yeah. I, you know, I'm, I appreciate that you feel bad for me. Yeah. Um, I wasn't as nice to you at the Super Bowl, yeah. but I won a lot of money in the Super Bowl, so I was very okay. Seattle. But, um... You know, I've given up. It doesn't hurt anymore. Right. I was mad they didn't cover because I, I am still on that. I was sort of like, if you're not going to cover, then screw you. You may right, as well then lose. lose. Right. Yeah, I'm not. You know, if they go three and thirteen or four and twelve, I'm not going to lose any sleep over that. I felt like Jacksonville won the Super Bowl at the end of that game. Yeah, yeah. it was nice to see. It was yeah, fun. It, was it was really fun. exciting. It was, it was fun for Jacksonville. All right, who you got this week? All right, um, I think uh, you know I haven't decided what my best bet will be. But I think uh, I'm going to fade Jacksonville, uh, just for the reason you said. The Raiders last the week before had won their little Super Bowl. They were celebrating before the game was over. You could tell just from that all you needed to know about the level of preparation they were going to have for the Rams game. I'm bummed that I didn't use the Rams as one of my teams last week because that was such a joke. I think similarly, I mean, Jacksonville is not the joke that the Raiders are organizationally. They're not, they're not quite the joke they are. Um, and I think uh, that Tennessee, that Houston's going to go in there and they're going to beat them. It's five. The line went up since last night, but I'm yeah. still going to take Houston. 
Uh, you know, the Giants are not a good team, and they pretty much had Jacksonville dominate. I mean, two fumble return touchdowns is a joke. I'm taking Houston. <laughs> um, I'm also taking Pittsburgh. I, you know, Pittsburgh defense is really terrible, and losing at home to New Orleans in a game they really needed is bad. But I just think that Pittsburgh-Cincinnati stuff is so, you know, Cincinnati plays well, Pittsburgh plays bad, it switches every week, Pittsburgh needs the win, they're going to cover that spread, get, they're getting more than a field goal. Um, I like Cleveland. I keep fading Indy. Indy. I mean, Andrew Luck is either doing something that I can't measure or he's the most aptly named player in NFL history. Right. I mean, I, I was watching that Washington because I faded them in Survivor, and I was like, come on. And Washington was putting up a fight, and then there's just guys like standing there totally uncovered. And they threw four touchdown passes, Luck did, to, some, to four of the most wide-open receivers you might ever see. <laughs> and that doesn't even count Kobe Fleener dropping the most open of all right. of them because he had to turn around and catch it like a punt, and there wasn't a redskin in the screen. And, and Dan Heron gets like an 80-yard <laughs> touchdown run. And he's 50-yard right. touchdown run, right. right. I mean, it, the Washington defense, were, Jim has it. We do a thing called Turks and Jerks. We name our sort of Turk of the Week and Jerk of the Week. Um, and the Jerk of the Week for me was Jim Haslett. Right. Like that was like, one, how is he still the defensive coordinator? And right. who gets beat like that? Uh, I just think the Colts, they're okay. They're decent. Vontae Davis may be out. I want to see Johnny Manziel. It's not necessarily a done deal with Josh Gordon. It's pretty much a against, done deal. Against the, a Vontae Davis list, perhaps. Uh, Indy D, I'm taking Cleveland I'd be shocked at if home. Johnny Manziel didn't play. What's that? I'd be shocked if Johnny Manziel I don't know what play. they'll do. You know what those coaches They're 7-5. You know? They're in a playoff chance. Yeah. I'd start Brian Hoyer. I'd start Manziel because, you know, I think Hoyer has had his chance and he's not really stepped up. But whatever. I can see both sides. Yeah. Uh, I can't do. I'm definitely going Tampa. Get nine and a half at Detroit. I don't respect Stafford. I, you know, I think it's nice that against the Bears, you know, Pee Wee defense that he did well. <laughs> but I, I think that. Uh, but I think you hate ta- Matt Stafford, though. I know, and I've been right uh, to do so. And uh, he was like the fourth quarterback <laughs> chosen, and he finally had a good game against the Bears defense. But I think that Tampa's D has turned a corner. You look at the last few games they played well. Look, Cincinnati scored 14 points. When Tampa puts 12 guys on the field, they're good. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah I mean, that's a good team with 12 guys. T- t- Tampa is a dominant just, Canadian team. I'm, I'm nervous about Detroit and Survivor. I love Tampa plus 9.5. And, and then finally, I'm going to take Washington getting 2.5 at home with St. Louis. Sell high. You know, I St. Louis, the Trey Mason touchdown, by the way, I don't know if you guys saw it. Mm-hmm. Okay. Any player at any position with four or five speed or better, and Trey Mason runs a four or five, which is slightly above average for running back. He's not blazingly fast, would have scored an 89 yard touchdown on that play. He got a handoff. The hole was 15 feet wide. <laughs> he ran through it, and then he just did a spray, straight sprint, and there was nobody within five yards of him. He just ran. It was a sprint. And it's amazing he wasn't playing Washington already. Right. And now he gets <laughs> to play Washington this week. But. Yeah, barring that, that's probably what will happen. But I don't care. That, to me, that was not because the Rams are good. It's because the, Raider, the Raiders are terrible. I think Washington probably wins outright but covers at home. All right, Ben, what do you think? Well, that's an interesting choice. I, I can't, because of that Reds, that Washington defensive, it's hard to get it out of your head. Right? <laughs> because of that Washington defensive problem, uh, I can't take them. Everything about that game, I like your logic and thinking on that game. The Rams sell high, the Redskins. Well, but there, there's something wrong in Washington uh, defensively. And, and, and the Rams might be better, so I'm going to stay away from it. But I would never take the Rams in that game, but, but I, I stay away from it. Okay. I'm going to go Thursday uh, again. I'm going to keep selling, uh, buying low on the Bears. <laughs> I don't know that there's great value there. But also, I, I, we may be seeing the, the Dallas uh, destruction. Um, and so getting three and a half at home and take the Bears, I like that. What game. do you mean Dallas destruction? I mean, they're falling apart. Yeah. You know, okay. the, 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 they're coming unglued. Losing at home that way. Uh, to, to a team with its backup quarterback. And I get it. He's competent, and Chip Kelly has a great system. But they're, they, were, they, were out, they're out, they were out organizationed in that game right. uh, against the Eagles. So, uh, I, and I like the Bears at home getting three and a half. Um, again, they, you know, they looked the first half. They were obviously right there with, the, with, with Detroit. Um, uh, I, I'm, I like the Giants. I, I, I think Tennessee's a terrible, terrible team. And, and the Giants, as again, opposed to the Giants, the, the, the Giants are terrible. But as we said, yeah, they've had I some very, this. very, very bad luck yeah. at, at this season. Like they're not. What are they? Three and eight. They're yeah. They've lost. They're they were three, three and, and two. They've lost seven, seven in a row. Yeah. yeah so everybody's played twelve. Is so Coughlin getting fired? Yeah, probably. Yeah. It just seems like he'd just be yeah. too tired. He's too to old continue. to rebuild from the ground up. It's just there's no way. Okay. They just shouldn't. They should be five and seven. They're bad. I was, you know, yeah. but, but they had three and eight fans. Three, yeah. they're, they're, they're yeah. not. So, I, and, I, and I think Tennessee is bad. So I like the Giants. I mean, I love it that I'm starting with the Bears and the Giants. These are terrible teams. <laughs> right. uh, I, I like Kansas City uh, uh, plus one on the road in Arizona. I, I have a sense, and I could be wrong. Arizona might lose out. 
Yeah, uh, it's possible. Really? I mean, these quarterbacks, the, the, you know, when we, we celebrated in week two, we had the great Michigan State off. You know, we were like, man, it's Drew Stanton and Brian Hoyer and, uh, and, uh, and Kirk Cousins. Right. You know, and they're all, all, they all look great in week two. They're all backups. They're all backups for a reason. And they're playing like backups. And Arizona cannot generate enough offense there. And, you know, this is a really well-coached team, it, it, uh, the Chiefs, uh, with Reed and Smith. And I, I just like them to win that game, and they're getting a point. I think they'll win it. Um, then it gets tricky. Uh, I, uh, I, I, I'm backing away from one of my picks. I was ready to take uh, Oakland plus eight. Um, they're home. Oh, really? Yeah. No, they're home. There's something wrong with the Niners. I don't know that the Niners get incentivized again to play hard. Come on. Their coach is clearly leaving in some capacity. I think they could win out and win the Super Bowl and he would leave. Like that that relationship is fractured whether it's with Kaepernick or the ownership group. Um, but uh, I've wussed out of it, and I'm not going to take it. You can't Oakland. do it. I can't yeah. do it. Yeah, I'm with you, too. It's like I'm worried about San Francisco and Survivor, but then again, I can't take Oakland can't and do it. spread. Can't do it. Wrote <laughs> them down. Can't do it. Uh, I'm gonna, I like Cleveland for the same reasons you do, plus four, e- with either quarterback. Uh, I, I have a season-long bet. Each Indy win is valuable. I hope I lose that game, right. or I hope Indy wins by one. Right. <laughs> but, but I think the mon- smart money is with Cleveland there, plus four, and I'm going to have to join you in uh, – in Houston, minus five at Jacksonville. Uh, oh, you're joining me in two picks then? I'm joining you in two picks. Yeah. Wow. I, I, right. I like uh, those, those have to replace the. Oh, no, wait, that's. Yeah, that's five. That's five. So I like uh, Cleveland minus five at Jacksonville. All I right. think like, Houston's, Houston's turned into a pretty good team, and I like Ryan Fitzpatrick. Good luck. And good luck to you. Thanks for watching. Mm-hmm.